Welcome back to the Todd Deere Hanger. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with another video. And this time I want to talk about my evolution of a masterpiece shelf. Now this is my display in my office here. And this is my main display where I display most of my stuff. And I have Star Wars predominantly. And on either side I have a built-in cabinet that was already existing that had uh, a lot of space. So I'm going to kind of show you what I did with that and uh, show you each of those. But the first thing I want to do is show you where I started. This is my humble beginnings of where my masterpiece shelf started way back in the day. And when MPO one came out, I basically put them on a shelf. Uh, I messed with them, put them on a shelf with some others, started getting some G1 stuff mixed in. And I didn't really include it in the picture, but I got the old Megatron hanging out over here. Uh, I more was obsessed with the jet fires and I was acquiring jet fire after jet fire after jet fire at that time because there wasn't masterpiece releases coming out back then and uh, I know the show picture was taken in 2012 and there's a whole lot of stuff that had come out by 2012 but um, or I don't know if a whole lot is a good uh, phrase but that's when I started ramping it up but uh, I, all my other releases at the time were staying in boxes I only opened prime and the rest were staying in boxes and so that's, that's my old school, old world uh, setup. But then I moved here into the new Tiberium hangar and started fresh with my next collection here. So here we are with kind of the beginnings of a very modest collection at the Tiberium hangar. And it's, it's a small start but it was a good start. Uh, I, it looks very bland. There wasn't any lighting. There's not uh, a whole lot of variety in there. But I mean, that's pretty much it. That's everything I had opened at the time. I think I think I had some seekers that I didn't. Other seekers that didn't open up. These were like uh, some missing pieces and stuff on these seekers. But this is super budget collector. I started out with a super budget collection. And we're talking over years and years of just buying one or two figures a year. And, uh, and that's just how it went. Then I moved into the next one uh, phase where I started working in some uh, detailing. When I started remodeling my, the house, I had extra building materials that I knew would work very well for dioramas, uh, displaying my stuff. And, and then I started trying to mingle the Hasbro releases in with my Masterpiece figures for a lot of reasons. Number one, I didn't have a lot of Masterpiece at the time. I had very little third party. Like you see um, x Transbots Apollyon in there. You got to have a, a leader for them guys. Uh, but just very, very light <laughs> amount of figures that I had. Uh, and, and the Superion, this is, you can tell how old this is. That's the wave one of Combiner Wars that built Superion, but you were missing an arm uh, for a while. Then we move into getting a Devastator involved and uh, adding a few more things, but I'm still stuck on this Hasbro mixed in with Masterpiece. And if that's how you do your display, if you're, if you're in that collecting standpoint right now where I've got some Hasbro stuff mixed in with it, that's fine. Like there, no, no one should be hating on you for that. If they are, who cares? <laughs> but uh, I did this for a while. Then I started practicing with some prints. Like, what if I put a little picture behind them or something? And well, well, I realized that the little bitty picture behind them looked very tacky and it didn't really add a whole lot. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would, but it didn't. So then I added a bigger picture and I was trying to see the big picture. And so doing that kind of stuff and uh, trying to make it a little bit fancier. I mean, I, I know you're, when, when you start spending $100 plus a figure, uh, you start wanting to display it a lot better. And then here I am with, uh, that's a Voltron I threw in the mix there. But it's kind of showing I've got a whole lot more going on in there. And still, I'm in, in, integrating some uh, G1s with the Jetfire and uh, Soundwave in there. And... And I want to stop right here and say, my point with this picture is I'm doing some lighting, I'm doing some uh, with a picture, upgrading some, some extra accents and, and adding to it. But if you look at the overall display, 
this may not have all the best figures and all the greatest things that we have today, but for, for years ago, less is more. And that is the concept, which I, I, I know the concept, and I walk that line, and I still feel like I clutter my stuff up too much. But less is more, and always remember that, less is more. So, so the better you make your display look with less, whether you're cycling them out or what, less is always more. And I, I, yeah, I think I take different angles of pictures. This is when I started realizing I, I, got, I got it wrong. It's just getting cluttered with stuff. And the clutter was starting to make it look junky. Plus, I have more Autobots. And I think there just exists more Autobots than Decepticons. So um, eventually, I'm going to have to make a change. But I keep piling in Decepticons as much as I can. And there's an aerial shot of what I had going on. Now this this picture here, you can kind of see, like, I freed up the shelf above it. Because that was full of junk. And at this time, I still had my other shelf on the right side housing a bunch of uh, box stuff that I pulled out. Now I'm going to have a box uh, video coming on how I'm displaying boxes now. Then I started getting into the 12 inch scale oversized MPP-10 and uh, I just, and when you only have really one of that, uh, or maybe two you could say, it's easy to display it like that. That's kind of a fuzzy shot. And then I started, started getting ex more excited, uh, building up panels. And one of the things I want to show you is how I wanted to display on levels. So I started thinking levels. You want to have the people in the back standing higher so you can see them. And then the people in the front, or the figures in the front, lower. And you want to, want to be able to see as much of each bot as you can. But they all need to look like they're there with a purpose. And not just well, like I've heard standing in line for the bus. At the same time, I really wanted to start putting a shelf together of these uh, movie bots. Now the movie bots... Uh, are a little harder in my opinion because Ultra Magnus is so big that he just outscales the rest of them and so I had to figure out something but this I just used the Combiner Wars one and left my my Masterpiece one in the box it's just so big and lacked the articulation to do like a kneeling pose he cannot kneel but I really thought I could put him in that pose that he was in in the, in the, po in the poster the poster pose but I couldn't put him in the poster pose because he doesn't have the articulation. So I just went with my son's Combiner Wars and it, it made him super happy to have his figure on my shelf so I did that for a while. Here's a better shot of these guys and you're, you're talking early uh, Springer Wars, two years ago. And then, now fast forward to modern day. So here's my movie uh, display, and I, I'm, I, I like it. I like things about it. There's things about it I don't like. I like keeping free space. So my plan was to always make it look like I have free space in here. And so I leave space in the middle and, and, and just zone them around. And I also separate. There's like a line where they go to bad guys, good guys to bad guys. But with this shelf in particular, it's really hard because... The bad guys are the Decepticons. They, they made so few of them. Real, literally, from the movie, there's only the three. So, uh, and, and then you've got season four. I figured that I could throw him in there. Because once uh, season four comes along, uh, these are the bad guys that are in the Decepticons in season four. But you kind of have to mix some good and bad. And everyone needs to look like they have a purpose, which I don't feel like everyone looks like they have a purpose in here. It's starting to get a little cluttered, but we're almost complete with this. Like you have almost everyone you need. And in fact, you have multiple springers. I also use the vantage point from where I view this. I don't see all of this over here. So that's where I store some extras. Um, I'm, actually, I'm coming up with other storage places for extras, but I like to have them uh, readily available and I kind of swap them out just for fun. I don't leave the fans toys in there all the time And then fans toys is gonna feel so sad and hurt when uh, X transplants come along Here we are with my current display rocking the TEO one in the center and it started out with a lot of empty space in here 
but I wanted to incorporate some mini bots because I, I well I've waited so long for him and finally got him for uh, well MSRP 70 bucks did not pay the 150 or 200 dollars that he was going for for a while when I started collecting mini bots and I was like man that's insane price I'm not paying that I waited over a year took me over a year to find one for a good price but I waited and got them anyway looking in here as you can see, I don't have every Dinobot. I don't have uh, all the fans' toys. I've got uh, two fans' toys. I got an official with the booties, and, an, uh, and I got this guy back here. And, you know, it goes to saying, collect what you like. You don't have to buy everything. There's no law saying you must buy all the fans' toys. Uh, there's no law saying you must upgrade to all Gigapower. Uh, but I think that Sludge is the biggest, and you can get you can rock it if you want to have Sludge as your your biggest in there and I, I think gigapower did a great job there but anyway we're not talking about individual releases here we're talking about display presence and how you can make this happen now it's starting to look cluttered to me and um but i i can live with it i can i can get with this clutteredness because i i have all the representation that i like in this right here now this let's get a better angle move my decepticons up uh because there's less of them and so the thing with this is that there are quite a few in there. I am doing what I was talking about with the levels. Uh, if you can see the levels, I mean, you saw it much better with Autobots, but uh, that way you can see all of them and the bigger bots in the back. And I, I position them to where you can see through and you can see them. So I can see pretty much all of them from the vantage point that I generally view this. And, and actually this place for me, so I actually, where I sit at my desk is the spot where I want to see them the most. And uh, yeah, some of them keep falling over. I uh, probably should have fixed that before I filmed this. But uh, but yeah, this is um, where I'm at with my Decepticons right now. And it's making me kind of rethink like some of my releases. Uh, when you're at this level, do you need to buy the next release? Or is your shelf good? Uh, what are you going to do with the next release? Are you not going to display and leave it in the box? So when you start filling up your display areas and you start getting the displays you've been wanting, and they look the way you want, then what? Just a second of shaky cam, but I'm gonna do a pan of my 12, 12 inch shelf, and then I, I had to fi find a place for this guy. So, but I do wanna point out the lighting up here. I have lighting everywhere in this, and I also have it, and I think I've shown it in another video, but I have it uh, wired to a remote, so I can sit at my desk and just press on and off, but pan out, 12 inch display. I am by far most excited about this shelf. You're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, I think this is the combiners is probably what most displays are lacking and most collectors uh, are lacking. And you, figuring out how to fit them all in, make them look good, make them look like they're there with a purpose and not just standing there. And uh, and show accentuate the best of them. But uh, this is probably what I'm working on the most and trying to get get this it just brings a lot of joy looking at it and and this was a junky looking shelf I cleared out a lot of the junk especially with being able to combine Superion but uh, n now it's like we've got more releases coming and really all I think I could fit in here is a Minasaur and uh, and past that I might be able to work a uh, Computron in it but I'm already having trouble seeing this guy over here Omega well let me know what you think uh, about displays I, I know I didn't talk about uh, Detoffs. I know I didn't talk about uh, other shelf storage, like bookshelf storage and stuff. And I do have other places that I store things, but I don't think they look like displays. They look more like storage. This uh, kind of stuff brings me joy, but not pride. Displaying them like this. I feel like this part of my collection is storage and not uh, actually a display. But I do enjoy looking at them, so... Like, subscribe, Tiberium Hanger, out.